Hey gang, back with another video for you today. I'm talking about a Japanese house today, almost for the first time, although I did speak about them in a video I shot last year at Scent Bar in uh, DTLA, uh, Lucky Scent Scent Bar. And the fragrance I spoke about in that video was a Sumo Wrestler, this one right here from J Scent. Also, I'm gonna also try and make sure that I introduce one new house each week on this channel. Please don't hold me to that, but I'm going to do my best to introduce one new house never spoken about on the channel once a week. And as I said today, it's J Scent, and I have three fragrances I'm going to talk to you about today. The first one being Roasted Green Tea, Sumo Wrestler, and Yuzu. And if you want to find out about these three fragrances, please stick around. And we do have three sample sets to give away thanks to J Scent. I have three of these to send to subscribers of uh, this channel from the USA. Sorry, I can't can't ship to the entire world uh, today uh, as uh, shipping is expensive and these are kind of big packages but if you are a subscriber from the USA or you have relatives or family here that you can put down as uh, a subscriber from the USA you can do that as well so if you're curious to learn about J Scent and their three fragrances roasted green tea sumo wrestler and yuzu then please stay tuned Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, today I'm talking about J Scent. This is Sumo Wrestler right here. This is uh, Roasted Green Tea right here. And this is Yuzu. I want to tell you all about these three fragrances. It's an indie niche house from Japan. I've never spoken about a Japanese house on this channel before, except for that one video I did at Lucky Scent last year, as I said. And I've been curious about these fragrances uh, because I sampled them all at Lucky Scent uh, Scent Bar and I enjoyed what I smelled. So these were sent to me for this review and I'm gonna tell you my honest opinion, but the reason I said yes is because I enjoyed what I smelled at Lucky Scent. But before we do all that, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So all three fragrances, and I believe most or all of the fragrances in their catalog are EDP Eau de Parfum Concentration and they're 50 ml bottles like this for $80. That's a good price for niche. Uh, they're Eau de Parfum concentrations. They're unique. They're not your typical common sense that you would buy at department stores and things like that. That's what's unique about them. And also, J Scent perfumes are created in the style of traditional Japanese fragrances with the notion that fragrances become one with nature, one with your life, and loyal to the Japanese sense of aesthetics. All fragrances are blended in Japan. This is taken off of their website. So they are unique fragrances, and I feel like the reason these fragrances appealed to me most because not only did I sample them, uh, I enjoy this, these particular styles. I like fragrances featuring tea, I like the aromatic musky qualities of Sumo Wrestler, and of course I really love, love this kind of um, grapefruity yuzu uh, fruit from Japan. So that's why I am discussing these fragrances. And we're going to start off right off the bat with Roasted Green Tea. This is an aromatic fragrance launched in 2015. Notes are coconut peanut, peanuts as in the nuts, and lava. Middle notes are jasmine, mint, and wintergreen, and the base notes are iris, cedarwood, vanilla, and clover. So this is, uh, I'm trying to get into tea fragrances more and more, so this was one of the ones I was really, really interested in. But I have to warn you, this one has this note at the top, laver, and it's a, it's a, it's a seaweed uh, note, a type of a seaweed. So it, there's a strange smell at the very top when you first spray it, but that out, that out, this appears right away. It doesn't last too long, but it does have this kind of a fleshy, uh, fishy, uh, slightly kind of a smell that reminds me of the sea. But you know what it also reminds me of? I've, I, I live in San Francisco and we have lots of Asian food here. Japanese, Chinese, Thai, Vietnamese, all of that stuff is here. So there is a kind of a, a almost like a Japanese or Asian restaurant uh, dining experience. So the fragrance has this kind of a slight savory quality uh, of uh, food that you're having and you're sipping on green tea uh, with the food. Because you know a lot of times when you go to these restaurants you do get served 
tea. It could be mint tea, jasmine tea, or whatever. And that's the kind of experience I get with this at that top part with that lavender note. It is a little off-putting for me, uh, and I'm not really into those kind of aquatic touches for fragrances, but thankfully it doesn't last too long. And it's, it's a unique experience because when you spray it at first, you get this uh, kind of slightly milky, coconutty experience at the top. The peanut comes in, you get nuts, literally smelling like nuts, uh, and then lava is there, which kind of, like I said, it's a little off-putting but it doesn't last too long. What's left with the fragrance is this most gorgeous, very, very cozy and comforting tea fragrance. It is really, really delicious, the tea. The tea fragrances, even though tea is known to have caffeine, you know, it's something to uplift you and, you know, get you, uh, you know, get up and get going in the morning. I feel like tea fragrances are the coziest. Same with coffee. Coffee is known for caffeine. And I feel like when I drink them, I am, I not only am like, you know, energized and ready to go, but I'm also comforted and, you know, uh, relaxed and um, just soothing. This is the kind of uh, experience I get with this one, but definitely it's a Asian kind of an experience rather than, um, you know, your traditional American tea or something like that. So the experience of the fragrance has a very Asian uh, tea experience or rich tea ritual kind of a smell. Let me quickly spray it once again just to remind me of the fragrance. Um, so it's, it's, it's definitely a green experience because it is green tea, but that top note, that lava, it, as I said, it, it, it's pretty uh, strong for me. It hits me right away. But just before that, that, that coconut and peanut does hit me as well. But the lava is gone and then you're left with this most beautiful, most beautiful, slightly floral, jasmine-y, minty kind of um, aromatic experience with uh, this beautiful green tea. I don't know where the tea smell is coming from. There's no listing of tea. So I'm assuming all the notes are creating an accord to smell like tea. And it smells like green tea, literally. But you know, you've got these interesting kind of like Asian, Japanese um, uh, ri tea ritual, dining ritual kind of uh, experience where I'm experiencing sweet and savory at the same time. There's that sweet and savory again here. And it's definitely prominent here. So this is really delicious. Uh, if I didn't have that lava note, I don't know if I would have this delicious of a fragrance uh, as it um, uh, you know settles to. Probably the experience wouldn't have been as good because when you have that off-putting smell, which doesn't last too long, I'm gonna stress that again. It's like really, really short-lived, probably 10 seconds at the most. What develops into the scent is just most beautiful, really, really beautiful. So roasted green tea, it's a great tea scent. Uh, it's unique, it's Asian, it's Japanese, all of that. Uh, I really loved it. And I said, as I said, I experienced this fragrance at Lucky Scent Scent Bar. In fact, I smelled the entire collection at Lucky Scent Scent Bar last summer in LA, DTLA, and I enjoyed all three of these fragrances and that's why I'm previewing them for you today. All right, the next one is Sumo Wrestler. It's an interesting name for a fragrance. Once again, we have an aromatic fragrance. This one was launched in 2017 and uh, this was a very, very unique smell. And you know what? When I was in LA, when I first sampled this, there was a kind of a heat, it's, it was hot, and there was a humidity in the air, and everything that I was smelling was smelling so good. Uh, something about humid weather and smelling things inside an air-conditioned place, uh, the smell is just amazing because you've been out, you've been in the heat, uh, and you've, you know, experiencing the heat, you're hot, and you come into this cool place, all smells just totally come alive. Um, and this one really did come alive. This is an aromatic 2017 launch. Top notes are orange, eucalyptus, and anise. Heart notes are cinnamon, heliotrope, violet, orange flower. And the base notes are labdanum, sandalwood, patchouli, and jasmine. This is so good. It's so good and wears so beautifully. It has, um, I guess, I wouldn't say it's as Asian or Japanese smelling as the first one, but it's different than your typical common fragrance once again. But if I was to compare the two, um, if, if the first one didn't have that lava note at the top, I feel like this one's a little more edgier than that one because you're left with mostly the tea with that one with floral touches. Uh, but this one is very wearable as well. It just wears very, 
unique. It's a unique experience where it's unique but still wearable and not like something weird, if that makes sense to you. And the name is really interesting because the fragrance is inspired by the oils that the sumo wrestlers uh, put on their hair. I think that's the, tr uh, the story behind this. I could be wrong. Please don't uh, kill me for saying the wrong thing. But from what I remember, that's what uh, I heard about this and that's why. It's very unique for the uh, actual fragrance to be inspired by something like that. I really enjoy fragrances that have unique inspirations um, and uh, the end result here is quite amazing. And it's very wearable as I said. Let me spray it once again for you. So what I like about this one is that nice orange smell. Oranges are citruses that don't uh, jump out as much as like lemons because they're tart and uh, grapefruit because they're zingy and uh, bitter. The orange is a sweeter smell but it's nicely contrasted with anise. Anise and eucalyptus together, slightly medicinal, uh, which I, I, I like uh, at the top here. The orange sweetness and the you know comforting experience of the orange gives you this kind of like slightly boozy anise and uh, herbal aromatic eucalyptus. It's a great start for a fragrance. The heart notes get spicy and powdery. You've got heliotrope here, cinnamon uh, with the spice there, violet flower. Orange flower is coming in as well, so I feel like the orange flower complements the oranges at the top and then you're left with a kind of a patchouli-esque uh, woody amber base and that's why I like this one. It's a great uh, concoction overall and it is stronger fragrance definitely on the powdery side as well and uh, definitely worth uh, trying. I think you guys would really like the, the uniqueness of that one. It's unique in a way that it's not the same as like your typical common fragrances, but it's also not overly unique that you can't really wear it. It's, it's really a great wearable fragrance. Last fragrance I'm going to talk to you about today is Yuzu. And I couldn't find the release date of this one, unfortunately, so I'll put it in the info box if I do find it later. But Yuzu is considered a citrus aromatic. It looks like every single fragrance is an aromatic, whereas the last fragrance is a citrus aromatic. And yuzu is a, a grapefruit note that I enjoy. I'm, I'm hoping to do a video on grapefruit and yuzu and uh, pomelo fragrances really close to uh, in the near future. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to preview this fragrance as well. And I like the grapefruit thing. I really like the bitterness of grapefruit, the zinginess of the grapefruit. It's a citrus and it doesn't even come close to smelling like lemons or oranges or mandarin or clementines or lime or bergamot. It's it's a unique scent on its own and I really do like it and it's once in a while I like to sit and eat like a grapefruit or uh, even a pomelo that I, I was buying earlier this year from Trader Joe's every uh, couple of days. But this one uh, for me um, it's, uh, it's a great scent but you know I feel like lots of uh, uh, aromatic notes are here and I'm going to read you the notes in a minute but lots of aromatic notes and it's a nice contrast of the sweet bitter zinginess of the yuzu with the uh, er herbal aromatic greenness of the different um, uh, what do you call it the aromatic notes but what we have for notes here at the top are lemon bergamot orange and thyme so you have all these citruses at the top with a little bit of green aromatic thyme in the heart notes the grapefruit lime and yuzu here we got lots of citruses and then in the base notes you've got rose and mandarin it's a citrus uh, come alive basically with a little bit of aromatic touches but i feel like the thyme is pretty prominent for me because i get a major dose of uh thyme in here. So if you've ever cooked with thyme, uh, lots of French food uh, is used uh, cooking with thyme. Uh, I can smell it here. I've used plenty of it myself and I like it. I sometimes put the pieces of thyme in my mouth, you know, to taste it. And thyme is a uh, kind of sort of smelling or tasting like a combination of basil, rosemary, a little bit of um, mint, uh, and uh, you know all of these uh, kind of different uh, herbs uh, mixed together. So it has a very uh, unique uh, taste, almost also like oregano. So if you like all these herbal notes you will get a prominent dose of uh, thyme in this one, but uh, again it's very very citrusy and yuzu is uh, pretty uh, prominent. 
it's mostly for me. Uh, it's the citruses in here are very ambery. There's a very ambery quality about the the citruses, and I feel like they've given us lots of citruses that are kind of like a uh, very uh, you know citruses mature and become thicker and condense. They get condensed, and I feel like what we've give uh, what we have here are the most condensed variety of citruses because there's an ambery quality here, but it's a nice combination of all these citruses mostly with the yuzu and the thyme. It's very very aromatic. It smells great. I feel like this is a very refreshing fragrance. In the heat it really does come alive and down in LA when it was hot and humid I, I thought this was great. Uh, it smelled so good and that's why I wanted to feature uh, yuzu from um, J Scent today as well. Anyway those are my thoughts on these three fragrances from uh, J Scent, a Japanese house. What do you guys think? Do you know this house? Have you sampled their fragrances? Did you catch that video from uh, Lucky Scent that I had shot last summer. Uh, if you haven't, I do have a link in the info box. Please click that to go check it out. But uh, as I said, I do have three of these to give away to three subscribers of this channel. Uh, they're sample sets of their entire uh, fragrances and they come in these little um, envelopes. As I said, this is USA only, but if you have relatives or friends here that you can have uh, the gifts shipped to, I'm shipping them myself, you can just put down that you are a subscriber and just please put your state down as it's a requirement. So now, uh, for a uh, to participate in this giveaway, what I'm going to ask you to do is let me know which fragrance sounds the best to you and why. Please put that down and then also please put down your state. Uh, again, as I said, this is a USA giveaway. Good luck with the giveaway and let me know in general, do you know this house? Does it sound intriguing to you? Do you like the idea of one new brand every week on the channel? Does that sound great to you? Do you guys like getting introduced to newer brands that I haven't spoken about. And again, if you know J Sense fragrances, please do let me know which are your favorites and, and or if you've been curious because they are sold at Lucky Scent, uh, have you thought about picking up some of their samples? And what do you think uh, of uh, the bottles and the overall imagery? I find it great. It has a very uh, simplistic uh, and very kind of Japanese um, design, uh, you know, uh, look and feel to the whole uh, line of fragrances. Anyway, those are my thoughts today on uh, Sumo Wrestler, Yuzu, and um, Roasted uh, Green Tea. I was going to say Black Tea. Uh, anything else, you guys? Please put a comment down. I'd love to find out. Other than that, thanks so much for watching today. Please do like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>